welcome back to my channel. So the first thing that we're going to talk about today is the fact that my eyebrows are really dark. I actually had them tattooed two days ago and I am in love. I have been wanting to get my eyebrows tattooed for a couple of years now and I'm so excited that I finally did it. Not gonna lie, it does hurt. Like there was numbing cream, but I still felt it and it still hurt. It is a tattoo, so of course it's gonna hurt, but I love it. I am so excited. They've just got a heel and I'm not allowed to wear any makeup on them for like three weeks. So my brows have zero makeup in them right now, which is crazy. They're kind of like starting to go like into little scabs and like it's quite red in that area. And it's really dark right now, but it will fade as it heals. So I'm so excited. The fact that I don't actually have any makeup on my brows right now is nuts. And the fact that I will have eyebrows when I'm not wearing makeup is crazy as well because I had very light blonde and very sparse eyebrows to begin with. So I'm so excited that I actually have eyebrows. And they're like not fully permanent, like they'll last like a year or two. So even if eyebrows trends change, it's not going to be entirely permanent, but oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So you guys are just gonna have to put up with me having like really dark brows for a couple of weeks until they like heal and do their thing. But it's like little um, hairs, like all the, the strokes of the tattoo are like tiny little hairs. So it looks really good and I'm so excited. So I just thought I'd point that out before everyone's like, oh my God, you've done your eyebrows too dark. No, actually they're tattooed right now and they're red and they're a little bit sore and they're healing and they will fade and it will be awesome in like a couple of weeks. So I'm really excited. Just want to put that out there. And if you are interested in eyebrow tattoos, I will leave a link to Susie's Instagram in the description because she is so good with brows. Like she's really good at it. In today's video, I wanted to do my September bullet journal. I have gone with a very simple leaf green theme because I am addicted to leaves. I tweeted the other day wondering if it was a little too much to keep going with this green leaf theme because I have like my whole new background and I just really like green leaves, but everyone was like, no, nah, it's not too much. So I have done a little September green leaf theme. I have uh, printed out some leaf templates from the internet and traced them and then filled them in with watercolors. And then again, I've traced out the word September in the font that I really like. It's called Bromello um, and it is just that September. This also gives me a chance to kind of practice my like calligraphy just because um, I have a template and I can just draw straight into it. I like to use my Copic, um, Kai, I don't know how to pronounce it. It's Copic marker and this has got two ends to it. There's a super brush, which is what I like to use for the like writing of the words. And then the other end is a medium broad end, which I actually don't ever use, but that's what I like to use to fill those in. And then I just used my little, um, pen that I got from Japan. I've had a couple of questions about this pen before. I, it's Sa Sarasa Clip or something by Zebra. I'm not sure. I just found it in like a little 7-Eleven um, or a convenience store while I was in Japan. So that's what I used to write everything up, but I also outlined the leaves with that. And then this month, I wasn't really feeling the whole monthly spread that I've done in my other months. I never checked back in August, like I never filled in August, maybe because I was traveling for like a large majority of August, so maybe I didn't feel the need to check back with it. But um, this month, I've decided to ditch my monthly spread, although now that I'm thinking about it as of today, I'm kind of like, oh, maybe I should have done it. I do kind of like the idea of tracking stuff. But what I've done instead is I have put one week to an entire two pages. Um, some days I'm gonna go over like the space for to-do lists so I can just go back to another day and add a few like little to-do lists there. But the trouble that I've been having recently is remembering all of the dates and the meetings and the events and having lunch and things with friends. And I keep forgetting the things that need to be done. So I wanted to make this little section down the back end that has important written here so that I can write down the important dates like when I'm seeing my friends or I have appointments um, and anything else that I have to do that's really important that needs to be done on a specific date that week. And then at the bottom, I've also kind of created this little water tracker. So it's just eight boxes, you know, for like eight glasses of water. And I've just done it in this little green pen that is part of a set of colored pens from Kiki K, which I thought was really cool. It kind of ties in with the green leaf theme and then I can use this to track my water. And then anything that I want to do daily, I can actually just include it onto my day list, like my to-do list, I mean. Um, so like my meditation and like moisturizing my body and trying to exercise, I can just add that to like that particular day as a to-do list. So I think it's going to be better because some days I barely get halfway through a full page of my to-do list because I was doing 
four days per two pages and I wasn't using all of the space. So I've split it up into do all seven plus an extra space and then hopefully it'll work. If it doesn't work out, I'll change it. But that's kind of how I've gone for it and um, it's been working so far because I actually created this spread two days ago and now I'm filming this part. So, so far I feel like I've done pretty good and it's working well. I'll let you know how I go with it, but that's what I decided to do this month. I decided to switch it up and kind of just have like weekly spreads across two pages. Um, because I like to do my to-do list like this, but if I need to expand on one dot point of my to-do list, I actually get just a plain piece of paper and I will write it out and put down all of the points. So if it's like a particular video, um, I'll write on here, finish that video, but on a piece of paper, I will go through and be like, film this, take these photos, edit this in Photoshop, uh, film this clip, this clip, this clip, this clip, um, do this voiceover, talk that, show this, get these products, and then that way that to-do list expands into a much bigger one, but just on a separate piece of paper so that I can make sure I'm getting everything done for that one topic, so like that one video. Um, I kind of hope that makes sense, I'm not sure, but that's kind of how I'm doing my spread. It's really simple this month and I'm hoping it works for me. Fingers crossed it does, if not we'll go back to a different spread next month. But I just wanted to share with you how I've decided to change up doing my monthly spread. I love the green, I'm like so happy with this, I think this is really cute. And then yeah, I'm really keen to see how it goes with week one, week two, week three and week four. Um, let me know what you guys like to do in your like spreads, whether you do like four days in a two pages or a day per page or seven days per two pages. Let me know how you like to do it. And yeah, I hope that was a little bit inspiring for anyone that is interested in doing a design for September or interested in changing their layout and their bullet journal for September. And I really love my to-do list. I seriously couldn't live without it. It is the best way that I find to make sure that I am doing everything that I need to do and staying on top of everything. If you haven't been into planning or been into to-do lists, I really recommend giving it a go because it will seriously change your life. You will feel so much more organized and you will be able to actually start working towards your goals and that's what I love. So this is like my, my baby. I love it. I have to use it every single day and I've just yeah really like this whole one week to two pages So I'll let you know how it goes I really hope you guys have enjoyed the video up the top here You can check out another one of my videos down the bottom You can check out another one and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye